All right, welcome to week three, day five. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Just as a reminder, next week is spring break, so you have no work. Enjoy your time off. Um, I do suggest, though, that you spend at least 30 minutes every night reading. Um, we The idea is to keep your brain growing, right? Even if you are on break, it's good to keep your brain muscles going. All right, what do you have to do today? Today, you have a math activity, Unit 9, Lesson 5. Then for ELA Journal, you have um, a little bit of drawing and writing about ancient animals or how you learn about ancient animals. Then you have a spelling activity. You will be doing a spelling word sort. Then you'll be answering questions using your vocabulary words for vocabulary. Next, you'll have um, a reading activity, sequence of events, and then a grammar activity. activity. You'll be doing uh, practice for adverbs and adjectives. Last, don't forget you have your ELA weekly test on lesson 27. So that's going to be on the story um, titled The Dog That Dug for Dinosaurs. All right, for math. Unit 9, Lesson 5 is partition rectangles into equal square, equal shares. We will be continuing our fraction unit. For journal entry, you're first going to draw a picture of yourself learning about ancient animals. And then you'll be doing a little bit of writing. Then for spelling, the objective is I can sort my words by final sounds. This is the activity page that accompanies it. All you're doing is sorting your words into the proper box or a proper column. Next, um, you will have a vocabulary lesson. Lesson. Um, the objective is I can answer questions with my vocabulary words. Then for reading, the objective is I can put a story's events in order. So yes, I know that it shows that you're supposed to cut um, and paste, but uh, because we are printed on double side, we are printed on both sides, um, I would just copy the box and write it inside of the box in order. If you really need to, I suggest um, that you either ask someone if you can copy it or um, go ahead and just cut it and we can figure it out from there. Then for grammar, the objective is I can sort adjectives and adverbs. You got this guys. Keep going. You've been doing great. 